Hi, everybody. I'm here to give you a quick overview of the IOCell Revenue Management System, which is our award-winning dynamic pricing system. On the screen here, what you will see is the update rate in which you can update rates for any given rate plan or any given room for any given date. Rates can either be dynamic when it's automatically green, or they can be overridden if you can get the dynamic pricing rates and put in any rate you want, depending on your requirement. I jump right in to decide uh, to show you how the dynamic pricing rates are calculated. Dynamic pricing system use factors to determine the dynamic rates. All factors work in conjunction with each other and can have a complementing effect to determine the final prices. One of the first factors is the occupancy base. We see each room sold at a different price. As the, as the occupancy of the particular hotel increases, the base rate keeps on increases. Uh, the increase can be um, as steep as we want. And uh, with each room is sold at a different price. So for some hotels, this uh, graph is very steep. And for some hotels, the graph is very flat. The next factor we have is the inventory reallocation, where we can oversell more inventory on the lower category rooms. Booking your economy class or your lower category rooms and upgrading them real time, the demand for the lower price uh, rooms are higher than the demand for your higher price rooms. The next factor, time-based factor. This you can set for any given time period, uh, time on uh, 48 hours. So at 10 a.m., you can have a, a decision that says if your occupancy is lower than 50%, you reduce your price by 7%. At uh, 2 p.m., if our occupancy is below 70%, we reduce the price by 5%, and so on and so forth. We can either reduce prices or increase prices. The next factor we have is uh, the leak time because This is the booking window during which the entire dynamic pricing system applies. In most cases, we want to set this for the entire year. 365 rates and determine how far we are. Uh, in some cases, people want the dynamic pricing window to be lower for only 20 days or 40 days. The next factor is the weekday factor, where each day of the week has a different demand pattern. In this case, the Fridays and Saturdays have much higher demand, and hence you see the Fridays at 22% premium, whereas our Mondays and our Tuesdays at a 7% discount. Then the next factor is the season factors where each day of the year, based on any given uh, uh, reason, it's a long weekend or it's a concert or there is any event, you can determine a multiplier that either scales up the prices or scales down the prices based on any particular dates or seasons. The factors, so in this case, certain day, certain months of the year may have high demand and certain months demand and accordingly the prices reduce. Then you have market demand uh, factor and competition factors, which can uh, maybe increase or decrease the price depending on either market demand or competition. Uh, we have a minimum threshold and maximum threshold prices. These can be set overall or at a rate plan level. The last factor that we have is the overall factor where if you want to overall increase the price of the entire model, you can change this factor and that can result in an overall change of the uh, prices. Uh, the last thing I wanna show you is uh, the trend analysis. Uh, from here, we see the behavior of each hotels and these inputs, these analytical factors help us determine the right values to put in those uh, factors to determine the pricing. We have a dynamic pricing window uh, a screen which can help us see how the dynamic pricing works uh, for the last 30 days and for the next 30 days. We have a screen for pickup reports where the pickup can be seen based on each date, each month, or each channel for a given date or a given time period. Hope you enjoyed watching the video and thank you very much um, uh, for watching.